So, uh, Pandemonium. They first ban Rhaegar. You don't see that very often. But uh, maybe they got some tech on, the, on their opponent. You never know. Um, maybe they have a sweet Rhaegar player. And then uh, team that says knee with the Monty Python reference. Classic. Uh, bans out Falstead. So, that's what we've got so far. I've never... S what is this site? Okay, well, whatever. Um, they're discussing their first pick. I tend to lean towards a Kael'thas first pick. Hey! <laughs> what do you know? What do you know? So there's the Kael'thas first pick. So let's see what the team that says me has to say about that. Um, what are some good uh, first first picks to counter Kael'thas? Uh, I'm leaning towards nothing really. Tyrande, always a nice choice. Murden, nah, not Murden. Li Ming, just to kind of have a mage. Not sure, not sure. Lunara, interesting. Interesting, the Lunara. Lunara Murden, okay. Those are both pretty solid picks. I think Lunara is a little undervalued at the top levels of play. I think maybe if some teams kind of uh, maybe put some more time in her, they could unlock some more potential out of Lunara. Oh, I guess I can turn off this music, that way the VODs work. What's some nice generic music? Uh, whatever. We don't have to listen to Sade while I cast, sorry. So there's the Turande. Taking some top tier heroes, always a good choice. This is a Division 1 match, I believe, which is just below the Pro League in Chair League. So these guys definitely, uh, they're no scrubs. TLC would hang out with them, like, no problem. These guys do not hang out the passenger side of their best friend's ride, trying to holler at anyone. They're decent players, that's my point. <laughs> so, Kael'thas, uh, I already like, I already like, um, these picks, especially, I mean, Tyrande is good on every map, but the Tyrande on Blackheart's Bay is really nice. Uh, the Owl to interrupt the turn in, mostly, and then all her normal stuff that's just great in general. Um, this is kind of considered a PvE map, uh, where it kind of encourages avoiding the other team and just sneaking coins in, but we'll see how they play it. Jaina, uh, the pick there, so they're going double mage. Two blonde babes with arcane power. I like it. I like it a lot. But who's more babe-like? Who's more babelicious between Kael'thas and Jaina? I think we all know the answer. And uh, that's why he's first picked. So, second ban now for Team That Says Knee. Who's it going to be? They probably should ban out of tank. I bet they ban ETC. That's my prediction. I'm using my Swami Turban powers from the Johnny Carson era to predict that, but we'll see if uh, my my scrying is in tune today. And the ETC ban. So, very logical choice of ban there. Now they're going to... Who are these guys going to ban? Um, they're going to ban a healer, but what healer? Probably Rhaegar. And after that, we'll see Pandemonium most likely pick up Johanna. But you never know. Jaina does have the hips. The hips don't lie. You don't think Kael'thas has hips? He's just wearing baggy clothes. Oh, the Lieutenant Morales band. They don't want to deal with Morales. Makes sense. They don't have anyone dive divey at all, and they're going to be stuck with Johanna, probably. It's actually a smart band. I like that. I like that more than the Rhaegar band. Sonya Brightwing. Okay. Not bad. Um, not entirely sure about the Brightwing here. Uh... I know that the two support thing is really popular right now, but I kind of kind of don't see any great polymorph targets yet on the pandemonium, so we'll see. See what happens. Uh last two picks for pandemonium happening now. Uh I would expect an off healer or a full healer and of course the Johanna. But we'll see. I keep saying we'll see. You know why? Because we'll see. <laughs> Did your parents ever tell you that when you wanted a Nintendo game or something? We'll see. We know what that means. 
We know what that means. Means you're not getting it. There's the Johanna pick. Uh, might, man, yeah, maybe a little specialist, little, uh, little Zool, little Zool, little uh, Zagara. Zagara is great on this map. In fact, that's where I'm leaning now, Zagara. Let's see if I can perfectly predict this entire draft with my mad skills. Oh, the anticipation is killing me. It's killing me. Oh, they're having a hard time deciding too. They have 15 seconds left. Oh, the Haka. Okay, the off tank. I was I was wrong. All right. I like that. See, I like that kind of. I like that more than Zagara. I love the Haka. I think the Haka is so undervalued. And there's the Sylvanas for the filling out. Always a good choice. Sylvanas for Knights who say knee. Team that says knee. And uh, we'll go ahead and remove this now, so we can get back to the game. And I will remove my overlay since that's not going to be useful in this at all. Already. See if, you, if the team captain's ready here. Don't want to. Don't want to screw anything up. All right. Let's start this game. So she's here to help. Good for her, you know. So, Muradin Lunara, Sonia, Brightwing, Sylvanas versus Kalthos, Kalthos, Taranda, Jaina, Dahaka, Johanna. Let's do this. Let's do this. This jam. Seven of ten players ready. I like that Johanna skin. I uh, I like the pink and white color of it. It's pretty dope. Pretty dope. What other skin choice? Got a Master Kalthos and uh, just some tints for the others and a sweet ass default Jaina. Let's do this. We're gonna see whose skin game is stronger. So far. Mm. Their skin game is a little weak. A little bit weak. Pandemonium versus team that says me. There you go. Updated. Updated just for you. Because I believe in you. All right. So the team, the Brightwing Sonia team, is team that says me. Pandemonium is the two tank. Got it. Got it. Let's get ready for battle, you landlubbers. That bird flew out there. That was not a Tyrande bird. Just so everyone knows, that was just a regular ass dock sitting seagull. So you don't have to worry about it. Level 1 talents, the Winter's Reach for Jaina, I like it. Uh, Fell Infusion on Kael'thas, Knight Takes Pawn, and Birdie Bird, Love Bird dot com on Tyrande. Over on the uh, team who says knee, we've got this thing and this thing. Almost, I almost remember what they were called. Natural Perspective, revealed, reveals heroes, interesting. Um, and the uh, Paralysis. And uh, Sonia, Sonia not picked. Reverberation on Muradin. Sonia not picked her level one talent yet. Interesting. So they're uh, fighting over the vision, not uh, not going too hard on it or anything. Sonia, okay, she is there, and she took uh, the the heels, the heels, the war, is it war paint? Yeah, war paint. She took war paint at level one. Let me know if the sound levels are off, if I need to turn anything down, or if it sounds okay. Could you do that for me, Logan? Thanks, buddy. So, chest spawning at 15. Nobody there. They let they let the whole mid lane kill, kill itself. No one soaked that. 
from either team. That's, uh, alright. So the early stasis from Dahaka, um, but he's going to get out just fine. But uh, team that says knee is going to claim that chest no problem. And over here at the bot, we got the Kalefoss. And uh, Sylvanas is going to pick up the ch the coins cleanly at bottom from Kalefoss. So um, early win for team that says knee. Well played by them. And uh, Jaina is going to guard mid. Um, anticipating the early turn in but Sylvanas ain't going anywhere and the rest of the coins are sitting on Sonya who is you can see Sonya so we'll see how that pans out for her but all three lanes are soaked so it's not the end of the world Jaina just just AFKing here it's it's bothering me but all right Okay, it looks like they are going to move down now with the Sonya and the Sylvanas. Hopefully Jane is communicating that to her team. This Wisp is going to find her and Jane is going to be in trouble if she doesn't move right now, but she did. Good. So, uh, Dahaka... Dahaka brush stalkers in, but he took a lot of damage there. Oof, that was close. Uh, the poison damage from Lunara doing good work on Dahaka there. So they are here to contest this. Uh, nice gravity lapse, no follow-up from Kael'thas. He took a weird walking path there, but oh man, the Living Bomb does not quite take out Sylvanas. That would have helped them out a lot. And Muradin, the bomb's going to kill Muradin. The bomb is not going to kill Muradin. The Brightwing heals are just enough. So, Team Pandemonium, for now, fends off Team That Says Need, but they didn't get any coins out of it. They didn't drop any coins, so other than this half a level experience lead, Still looking pretty good for Team That Says Knee. Sonya returns to her lane, so they know they don't have to worry about it. Calling for a gank on Sonya. But, uh, looks like no one's there. Uh, Dahaka, gonna take a little damage. He should be okay. Meanwhile, Kael'thas, uh, nothing happening there with him. Dahaka taking a lot of damage. It's a good thing they have Joanna as a backup tank. I'm liking that, that pick more and more with the two tank. Oh, man. Lunara is giving Dahaka fits here. Giving her a really rough time. And, uh, yeah. So far, really well well played by not Team That Says Knee. Maybe this thing where you just soak the lanes and have someone watch mid is, uh, is a thing I'm not aware of. I mean, it seems fine. Jaina gonna go over here. Chests are spawning. Um, looks like team that says knee is going to gather more coins, no problem over here, but Pandemonium will finally get some coins bought, looks like, as Sylvanas was back in the base healing up. Um, Dahaka, is Dahaka more dinosaur or bug? He's technically a zerg, so you'd think he's a bug, but he's very dino-like. I know he's a primal zerg, but anyways, there's a fight happening mid. Johanna, a nice drag by Dahaka there. That's going to put Sonya way out of position, but the right wing heals and the lifesteal from Whirlwind, the war paint, the war paint coming into, into play during that right there. Saves Sonya's life and six coins. So great talent choice there. Another nice drag um, on Brightwing there. Not quite the same level of follow up, but Dahaka is doing a pretty good job this game so far, um, despite being picked on quite a bit. Nice stun by Turande on the turn in there. Turande doing work. Um, and uh, they're going to have to back off, unfortunately. They have 17 coins, and they zoned them out. Um, so, yeah, there's that. The pact be sealed. I have never heard him say the pact is sealed. If someone in chat can tell me what Blizzard game, without Googling, what Blizzard game the pact is sealed is from, and who says it, I will give you a prize tonight during this stream. You have to say it in the next 10 seconds, though. And I'm timing you. It's from a, an old Blizzard game. And I'll even say it the way he says it. The pact is sealed. <laughs> that was my best impression. Who can give it to me? Who can give it to me? Sylvanas. Taking a little damage there. Uh, who was... Was it Jaina pressuring her? I got excited that he said... I got really excited that he said the pact is sealed. I apologize. <laughs> little engagement going down here. So far the Lunara is doing a really good job with her poke. Um, Jaina is going to take the vision here. Looks like we're going to get engaged over on the Muradin, but they're uh, going to clear out just fine. Sylvanas 
healed back up. The bottom gate is taking quite a bit of damage from the Kael'thas and earlier the Jaina. Oh, so close, Logan. So close. It was Warcraft 3. It was Warcraft 3. But it was the Death Knight. Or Arthas, if you prefer. The Death Knight said that during his movement. Um, Lunara putting a lot of damage down. And Sonya going to secure... A very late first blood. Six minutes in for the first blood. Nice ancient spear by Sonya there. And uh, this Lunara, I'm very impressed with this Lunara pick. Um, she's doing great. Was Gul'dan... Gul'dan wasn't even in Warcraft 3, brother. He was in Warcraft 2. Anyways. Get out of here. Get out of here with your Blizz Plet knowledge. No, I'm just kidding. Please stay. I love you. You're my only... <laughs> you're my only fan. Coin sitting over here. Right wing's gonna clean that up. Oh, Sylvanas in a lot of trouble and nice movement by Tyrande to catch her. Uh, to anticipate the uh, the ghosty ghost, the spooky spooky wave, haunting wave. I prefer spooky wave because it is spooky. Um, Jaina doing her job, doing her sentry duty here at mid. And uh, Pandemonium is playing this really well. They understand the map really well. And uh, they're prioritizing the ch the turn in, which is exactly what you need to do on this map. So, good play from both teams so far. Very close game. I think it's going to come down to the ult usage on this one. Who uses their ults better? Who picks the right ults? So, uh, the team that says Negan going to take the top chest. Pandemonium going to take the bottom. Pandemonium did get the turn in, so we're at one turn in to one. But uh, they just got they just got ults, my friends and team that says knee not far behind in the ult department so what do we have we have ring of frost we have isolation we have pyroblast ooh let's see if that pyroblast comes into play right now there's a big ring of frost right there and the pyroblast is coming out it's going to hit lunar but she has full health but sylvanas and brightwing and muradin all get crushed that was a beautiful ring of frost by jaina really well placed and uh lunara does survive that pyroblast so still waiting on alts, team team that says knee, they're gonna have to rally back. Um, after that big team fight and the cannonball shots, we're now at eleven and a half to ten. Uh, Blessed Shield and Starfall rounding out their ult choices. We have Avatar, Blink Heal, Leap. Very nice. Ah! Yeah, I can do it too. <laughs> the black arrow. Wailing arrow, excuse me, and the thorn vine whip. And another turn in comes in from uh, Pandemonium. This game is spiraling out of control for Team That Says Knee right now. But they're not out of it yet. All it takes is one solid leap engagement with a wailing arrow, and things can go south real quick. Uh, Sylvanas <laughs> haunting waved into that fog and found a lot more than she bargained for there. So she's kind of just walking in circles right now. There's not a whole lot she can do. Fort down. Um, Looks like we might have, yeah, two forts down and soon to be three, looks like. Oh, it has full health. It'll probably be up for a little while. So, yeah, uh, team that says knee. I should do a barb sound pack. You're right. What else does she say? For snoo snoo. Oh, I hate men. I am so buff. Duh. Okay, so they're going to turn in now. They have exactly ten coins. Uh, we need Murden. He's going to zone for a bit. Okay. There's the Brightwing with the turn in, and uh, they do have this zoned out. So, this is their opportunity here. If they can pick someone off, if they can, like, find someone by themselves, which they can't right now, which is what we know and they don't, they could get themselves, by themselves, those level 13 talents and catch up. So, we got a pretty close game here. Nice. Uh, nice drag there. And, oh my good lord, the Jaina and Kael'thas nuke damage just made Sonya really sad. Death by Snoo Snoo. Indeed. Sylvanas overextended. She's being really greedy. Uh, oh. I'm, I'm worried. <laughs> I'm worried. She had the Haunting Wave out, which, if she had been paying attention to the minimap, she would have full-blown full blown wave back and maybe lived but she uh, haunting wave back only a couple inches and then continued pushing not the end of the world um, there's not a lot going on right now that they need to stress about 
but it is little mistakes like that that are going to make it really hard for them to get back in this game. They do have level 13 talents at this point. Full Thunderclap build, you know, as usual, from Muradin. He's got the, uh, what's it called? Isolated Hammer Boys, Hammer Brothers, bend you over the kitchen sink. Thunderstrike. Um, yeah, not looking great for Knights of Saint now. They are uh, about three-fourths of a level behind. And uh, they're just trying to gather coins. Pandemonium only has two right now, so they don't have to freak out about mid yet. Knights that say me, sorry. You fact checked yourself, Gul'dan, what? He is in Warcraft 3? Mm, maybe in a minor way. Not as a playable character. Maybe he was in the Frozen Throne. I don't think he was playable. He could have been. I don't know. Who knows? The point is, you lost the contest. <laughs> okay? It was the Death Knight. The Pact is sealed. Nice drag there. Um, it's going to be on Muradin, though, so not a lot done. And a lot of damage going down on Kael'thas. There it is. Oh! And... <laughs> Sonya, she's being vicious, she's being brutal, but the stun's coming out, the Ring of Frost really well done there, and oh my gosh, this Sonya is living through it all, and oof, sorry, I missed the Sylvanas kill there, and uh, one for one there, Dahaka going down, and Sylvanas, um, not many coins to turn in, so a small victory, because an even trade is always a small win when you're behind. Um, building wise, eh, fairly even. We've got a, a keep open for both teams. Uh, two keeps open over here, actually. Actually, no. Two keeps open for this team. Three keeps open for Knights of the Saint team. This isn't me. Excuse me. But fairly close still. They just hit their level 16 talents, which I'm sure you know when Kael'thas hits level 16, he, uh, well, he, he gets really excited. And his arrogance increases. And he has a lot to be arrogant about. Salama. Ashanore. And we'll see what he does there. Uh, Blizzard build from Jaina. I like it. I like Jaina's play this game a lot. Um, I like the Lunara. They're my team MVPs so far. But imposing presence for Johanna. And uh, yeah, 16. Level 16 is a scary talent here, but they are about to hit it. Red team hits 16 now, so they're on even keel again, but Pandemonium did get a turn in during that, so it's still an uphill battle for for the red team here. Team who says knee. His skull is in it. Come on, man. His skull. Call that fact checking. His skull. I'm so disappointed with you. <laughs> Sylvanas uh, just trying to stem back the tide here they did cap Knight's bot and uh, Sylvanas has been stuck bot pretty much all game doing this essentially trying to push out bot and uh, they are going to get the turn in here and it's just enough they had one coin over so battling back team that says Dean not, not giving up anything yet and they have even talent tiers all the way till 20 so if they move aggressively now while these cannonballs are moving out and try and get a team fight, that could be their doorway back into this game and uh, taking the lead. But here it is, Sylvana. How long has she been down here? You know, she's just been. It's hard to be aggressive and try to win a team fight when you're dealing with this all day. So they're starting boss. Um, maybe baiting it. Jaina here with the other. Yeah, they started the boss to maybe uh, trick them by seeing some spell effects through the fog of war. That's a solid bait. That's a, that's a good little bait plan. Using the bugs in the game. I like it. So here they are. They're all coming in. They need a team fight here. They need to win this. And the isolation misses. Now's the time. Now's the time. Now's the time. You gotta do it. Ah, unfortunately, they just move out. Mm. But that's okay. They can still win a team fight before 20, but they do need to win that team fight. I'm hungry. And... I don't know what the most esports food I can eat is. Probably pizza rolls. 
maybe Bud Light. <laughs> Bud Light and pizza rolls. That's America right there. Mm. Dehaka coming in for the scout. Face checks the bush. Takes a little bit of damage. No follow-up from the red team, unfortunately. So he's going to heal that right back up. Living Bomb goes down on Lunara. Um, they're trying to turn in here. They have two coins. I mean, I guess might as well. They're guarding the turn in. 13 coins for Pandemonium, so they're going to... They need to win a team fight and take the chest here. That's what needs to happen. There's the Storm Bolt initiation. They need to fight. They need to fight. A big Ring of Frost. The Starfall. So much damage is going down on Sonya and Muradin. Uh, Sylvanas has a lot of damage on her. Um, but the Sonya's in there being aggressive. I like it. Oh, and the stunned out. There's the Ancient Spear. Nice call on the spear that pulls. Oh! Oh my god, it's it's Carnage and Mayhem, and it was a, actually a really close fight. Oh, there goes Kael'thas. They turned it around. Lunara finishes off the Kael'thas. That's exactly what they needed. They stopped that turn in. Unfortunately, unfortunately, they killed only heroes that weren't holding coins. Ah, oh, that's a heartbreaker. That is a heartbreaker. But still good for them. Still good for them. They're now almost at even experience. Really well done by Lunara. Really good fight. Nice Wailing Arrow. The Ring of Frost was great. Um, I'm not sure if the Pyro Blast got interrupted. I think it did. Um, but good play from both players. Um, I'd like to cast teams to a point where I know their names because I'm just calling them by hero. And I need to get in the, in the habit of calling out hero names. Or, I'm sorry, player names. But that's just something to work on. That's why I'm doing chair league, man. To get, to get good. To get good. For those of you who don't know anything about me, which I'm sure is all of you, I was a StarCraft II caster of some repute during the Wings of Liberty era. And uh, my name is Sahara Drak, and I run a fan site called Storm Legacy. And I will plug all that as soon as the game ends. But yeah, check it out. The pact is sealed. I love that he says that. You don't understand. <laughs> you, just, you just don't understand how happy that makes me. Pandemonium with the turn in. They're going to hit 20 real soon. And uh, looks like they probably won't have enough to take out the keep here. Yeah, they won't. So that's good news for Knights of St. Nee. And there is 20. So Knights who say Nee. I keep saying Knights. Team that says Nee. Needs to scramble for 20 here while they have some breathing room. Meanwhile, blue team taking some mercs. Good call. They're just grouped up almost 20. So we're going to be... We're not going to have a, an uneven team fight. We're going to have 20 versus 20. And there it is. Whew. Indestructible for Johanna. Master of Flames for Kael'thas. I like it. Uh, improved Isolation. Yeah. Improved Ice Block. Good, good. Storm Shield. For Murd, I'm sorry, Hardened Shield for Murd. Bolt of the Storm. Hardened Shield. So we got two Hardened Shields over here on Team. The game seemed pretty stale after a while, but I liked Spanish one. Well. Yeah, fair. And uh, they're camping this. They're ready. Oh! Uh, look like look like the Hawkeye had his attention elsewhere, but he is going to be okay. Um. Oh, watch out for the Master of Flames. Watch out. Let that... Don't kill that spread. There you go. So, Team That Says Nee pushes Pandemonium off the turn in. There's a big Starfall. They don't get their coins turned in. But the Starfall had to be used to zone. So, that's not exactly ideal. You want that in the middle of the team fight. A lot of damage going down on Murden. Another nice drag. Johanna's in there mixing it up. Big leap. Big leap onto Jaina. Oh, and they take out the Kael'thas. Team that says knee. Oh, Brightwing's gonna heal himself. Huge team fight for team that says knee. Oh man, they're gonna try and zone out this. Yeah, they're gonna get this Dahaka. No problem. Oh man, that's big. That's big. Four down, or was it just three? Three down on Team Pandemonium. Well done. Um, that Dahaka getting uh getting walked around and then missing his tongue drag might have snowballed that fight against them. He had to use his stasis really early in his heal. And uh, they're going to go for boss now. Hmm. And I haven't seen the Pyroblast get off. Um, I think they're prioritizing shutting down that spell, unless I just missed it. But, in other news, the drama never ends as mid-keep is lost for the time that says me. 
So it's going to be, it's going to come down to the wire. It's going to come down to the wire. Just like they say in horse racing. And Lunara is a horse lady. And she's just as sexy as, what's a sexy horse? Secretariat? Is that a sexy horse? Why am I talking about that? Who knows? It's okay. <laughs> and uh, they're going to push with this boss here. We need big defense here from the team Pandemonium. Johanna is just the grabbing the Muradin and then banning out the ETC. Johanna is so good at tanking, but she's such a passive tank. Um, she just has a really hard time mixing it up in a team fight, you know. Um, so this boss is going to push down. Mid keeps already down here for Team Blue. Looks like they will get this keep, but the big team fight. There's a blessed shield. And uh, no, no hard engage. And this is what I mean. This is what I mean about Johanna. She can't. She can't go in there and eat, like ETC. She just doesn't have the mobility. Um, so yeah, two keeps down and boss on the color. No core damage done. Uh, the boss is pretty low, but more than mission accomplished for team that that says me furry. This is right around when Lol took out. I would love for for that to. I would. I, there's nothing I want more than Heroes of the Storm to be huge. I love this game. I'm a huge fan. Huge Blizzard fan. And uh, that's why I run a fan site, I guess, and I was involved with StarCraft Legacy for, what, 10 years now. So, they are going to get these 10 coins. If they get these 10 coins turned in, it's big. Oh, and the bird. The bird and the flame strike miss. Oh, no. They were so close. Oh, big leap. Sonya. Sonya giving these guys fits. The hardened shield is, is popped on Sonya, and she does not give an F, man. She's going to start giving it up now. Oh, the Master of Flames spreads to the Murden. Oh, no! But it might be too little too late. Brightwing and Sonya go down, and all they lose is a Jaina. But uh, we still have uh, six shots left here, so this keep is... Is this keep going to die? This keep's not going to die. So still a keep here for Team Pandemonium. This game is crazy. Falling Sword. Uh, the problem is in her ult. Her ult's actually very good. But, um, Blessed Shield's very good. It's just when she gets in there, she, she's in there with Falling Sword, right? And then stuff happens, sunders happen, people get moved around, and all she can really do at that point is blind and then slow next to her, and it's just not... It, she's a great tank. She is. She's not, I'm not criticizing her. I'm just saying what makes her not quite on that S tier with ETC and Muradin. She definitely has her place, though. She's a very good hero. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Got Merc Camps pushing top. Big wave top. Jaina's gonna have to hang back. Jaina is the sentry for Team Pandemonium. The onceler. He's always hanging back. Checking stuff out. I feel like he has very good map awareness. He's always sent in the mid, making sure shit doesn't go south. I like it. Clearing waves. Unfortunately, that does put uh, them at a disadvantage if a team fight breaks out, so they have to be very careful. Um, five coins here for Pandemonium. And Jaina is just struggling here, trying to clear out this huge wave that was top. That's the power of late game mercs. Yeah, kind of like Leoric. Yeah. I'd say Johanna and Leoric are very similar, except Johanna is actually really tanky, whereas Leoric is anti-tanky. But uh, their strength in tanky... Uh, their strength in engage is similar. Big leap from Sonya. There's the silence. Sylvanas silencing Kael'thas out. He didn't get to do a damn thing. He did not get to do a damn thing. Oh, but there's a lot of damage. Huge Ring of Frost. And just when you thought the team that says Nii had this game in the bag, Pandemonium still alive. That huge damage coming out from Jaina. And that was without Kael'thas. Kael'thas didn't really do anything there. He just got nuked. So that was all damage coming out of Jaina, Dahaka, Johanna, and Tarande. Pretty crazy. Um, he might have got a Master of Flames off that I didn't see, but even then, he didn't Pyroblast. He didn't get his big. He didn't get multiple flame strikes. 
So, turning it in now, making things interesting. Remember, they still have one. They still have two keeps, but one's down. So this game is by no means over. Tina Sisney scouting the boss. Oh, and they're gonna dive the core. They're gonna dive the core. I like this. I wish they would have done it 30 seconds ago, but it might be enough. Here comes the Hertz. Lunara, is she gonna have enough? There's the Starfall on the core, and it looks like they're just gonna do some core damage and get out. Yeah, they just looks like they decided to rush the core later. It's like they were like, we killed three of them, and then 20 seconds later they're like, maybe we should do the core. So they did 1% core damage there. No big deal. They didn't lose anything out of it. But uh, red team here. Askia and crew. Astika and crew. Excuse me. Going to get these top coins. Blue's going to claim the bottom coins. And I do like... I do like the one slurs Jane to play. And I love Trixie's Lunara this game. Like I said. Um, very well done. It's crazy. This game's crazy. There's a lot of creeps pushing Blue's base. And uh, nobody home there for the uh, for the tongue. They have to hurt and defend. There's definitely some catapults in the base, and that's going to give a team that says need the space. The space they need to take boss. And this is why a lot of people don't like this map. Um, for these reasons. This, 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 so much PVE pressure from this that it's hard to make a comeback on this map, but they can definitely do it. In fact, they did already. They, they were the original comeback. Now we're trying to see if Pandemonium can make a comeback after they lost their comeback. I would definitely say Leoric and Johanna have different roles. But I would say they're... Oh my god, that was a huge leap. And, uh, oh my god, Tarande's going down. Ring of Frost. Oh, the Unstoppable is going to get Johanna out of there, and, yeah, Jane is going to live. Unfortunately, they have enough coins to turn in. That was a good ring earlier. Anyways, what I was saying is, I think they have similar flaws as tanks. And there's the GG. There's the GG from Team That Says Knee. And it was a great game. Wow. Very well done by both teams. Beautiful. And there it is. GG for Team That Says Knee. Unless I've been calling them the wrong team the whole game. Which is possible. 